Next up on stream, we got we have a uh, green sleeves fuzz versus uh, Smash United Uncle Mojo. Oh gosh! Tired man? Yeah, I'm about to head out. Oh yeah? Yeah. I'm still trying to figure out how I'm gonna end up getting home. <laughs> Um, I can, uh, Vincent said that I can call him if I need to, but then I have to go to a melee event after this and I want to go home, so yeah. I mean, I can leave whenever though, really. I mean, I can leave now, I'm not in tournament anymore, but yeah. So I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do. What's up? Okay. What the hell am I doing? What is happening? Okay. Sorry guys, sorry for the wait. Oh my god, I'm pointing. This is so bad. Yeah, I'm trying to. Oh my god, can you type this in? I'm like, yeah. so done right now. <laughs> I'm so tired. I gave up, dude. I'm so tired, dude. I'm so tired, man. I can't even type. I'm so bad. I'm bad. Certified baddie. Certified baddie. Certified baddie. Certified baddie. Marcidius. The more the most certified baddie in all of Houston. Alright, bro. Not enough. Always true. Never enough when you got Uncle Mojo and Marcidius. <laughs> I'm done. I can't handle this. Alright, so I think this is a... Uh, this is winner's finals? Am I right? Is, is that right? Yeah. Okay. So, Fuzz seeing a, ma a familiar matchup, but oh, Mojo, triple, double up air into a knee. We've seen Mojo, we've seen Mojo fall to Fuzz a couple times before. I, it's definitely, this is definitely something that, you know, isn't like undoable for Fuzz. Very likely to take this. Fuzz is able to take the stock lead. Making quick work of that Falcon Edge guard. Going out for the knee. Oh no, up air. Much smarter option. That was the uh, I really want this kill up air. Yeah, it's like oh please, just just don't live. <laughs> it's like I'm gonna play this safe. Oh, wonderful back air. Able to take that stock at 154. Uh, Mojo's probably gonna want to try to start taking stocks a little bit, a little bit lower percentage. Fuzz doing a really good job of shield poking right there. Keeping that nair on him and whittling that shield down. Oh, need a stomp. Oh, a clean, bra uh, clean back air. Mojo going for a lot of back airs right now. Oh, wonderful conversion. Able to get that knee. Dang, and a quick kill at 90%. Mojo Ooh. getting the grab. Oh, good forward tilt, dash attack to an up tilt. Little rising bear there. Oh, wow. Count Falcon getting that reverse grab. Oh, oh man. And that could be... That's Fuzz's stock for sure, yeah. I think he thought he had a jump. Yeah, and Mojo's showing what we mean by Count Falcon about being good comboing floaties. Ooh. Ooh! Nice little up air into forward air. Fuzz is still not out of this exactly. Fuzz doing a good job of not going in towards that Raptor boost there. Ooh, but he gets hit with the, rap with the, <laughs> with the Raptor kick. With the Falcon kick. Oh, God. Falcon's moves are so cool. All of them. There's fire. Yeah. And electricity. Way to go. <laughs> oh. Charge that one up. Wonderful fade back by Mojo to avoid getting hit. Ooh. That should be the stock. Oh, okay. Never mind. This should be right here. Up throw? Great DI by Mojo. Though, unfortunately, nothing could really do about that. Yeah. That's uh, always a sad thing to see. It's so hard for, for Falcon to sweet spot the ledge. Ooh, 
Ooh, good empty hop there to trap him in shield. He's just trying to close that stock out with a down smash right now. Probably going to see a back air and up air to clear this out. Oh, good dip. It does not really seem like Mojo wants to go for the risk of a knee right now. Oh, no. Oh, I know, but Mojo's doing some risk going out there. I'd imagine he tried to just play it safe, stay near the ledge. You know, if he gets enough hits, eventually one of them will kill. Yeah. Ooh, good back air to some jabs. And the forward. Good forward tilt's going to close that out right there. All right, so it looks like Mojo's taking game one. I'm getting a call. So, Horizon Fox is trying to go somewhere small, maybe Green Hill Zone. Yep, going Green Hill Zone. So, Green Hill Zone is really going to give less room for Falcon to run around. Which is Fuzz is really going to want, especially since he's pretty, he feels pretty confident about comboing Falco, which, as you were seeing right there. But, Mojo's no slouch either. Mojo can probably zero to death him just as easily. Oh man, so he just hits him with an up air knee. Unfortunately, not, not really getting the uh, edge guard scenarios that he wants. Oh, nicely done. Getting that knee to close out the stock. So Fuzz down on his own counter pick. Oh, but he's able to even things up with a nice little forward smash. Boom. Mojo accidentally missing that tech. Got hit barely off. Just clipped by that neutral air. Alright, now what's Fuzz gonna get? Alright, quick 40%. Nothing too bad. Oh, but is this gonna lead to an edge guard situation? Yep. Oh, double back air, and that should. Oh! Fuzz going extra deep for those back airs there. Yeah. Which possibly wasn't the best idea. It looked like Fuzz maybe was gonna. I mean, uh, Mojo is possibly going to die from that. Knee. And the knee right there. That's going to close that one out. Mojo tying it up, but not without losing 86% uh, there. This could be the stock. Oh, just barely missed. Ooh, a good wall jump there. Oh, and that's going to clear it out. Yeah. Hate to see that happen. Yep. Down tilt, forward smash. We'll see if Mojo can start cooking. Ooh, that was such a janky grab. That was really, really good. Did oh, grab there. wonderful down air. But Mewtwo is able to get right back up. No up B either. Throws him off stage. Tries to get the edge guard. Oh, double oh, back. Triple, triple back, back air. air. That should be it. Double, triple. <laughs> Home run. Oh, my God. All right, so Fuzz evens this out with a great counter pick with Green Hill Zone. Uh, I'm kind of expecting to see the Fox now. Like, I think... Uh, Game time's over. I think that uh, that or Mojo is just not gonna win this. Yeah. Fuzz has been playing really good today, so it wouldn't surprise me. I'd if imagine him to go to Pokemon to Stadium it. too. Yeah. Like I thought. So it's gonna give Falcon plenty of room to run around. Uh, the sides aren't that big. Yeah. But that low ceiling does mean Falcon get killed off the top. But Falcon's a fairly heavy character, so he probably shouldn't have to worry about that. And those really, really deep horizontals just really help out. Yeah. Deepest horizontals on a starter, right? Uh, I believe so. That or Smash Well, no, 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 no. Deepest horizontal blast zones? Oh, that would be Delfino, yeah. right? Yeah, Delfino. Ooh. All right, good wait. Forward Smash, is that going to take it? No. Oh, Mojo, oh, Mojo why'd you go going out a there? Deep for why'd that? you go out there? Don't do it. <laughs> Yeah, see, that's what he's doing. He's totally throwing out neutral B. It's giving him extra rise, and it has ah. it's just an open hitbox. It's just a lingering hitbox as he comes up, and it just it just does, like, tick damage to, like, knock him off. That's so smart, dude. It's things like that that make Buzz, like, a serious threat, like, even out of state. Like, yeah. out of city. It, it, this guy goes anywhere. I, you can guarantee oh, him to man. place well. And Buzz really just covering options there. 
Shut himself up, just edge guard. So, may need to see a character switch from Mojo, because, you know, this is not looking good. That's yeah, a, oh, that's is, another stop. This is, yeah, he's quitting out. And he's Mojo done. just goes ahead, wow. says, all right, you have that game. I'm going to switch it up. Yeah, he's going, he's going Fox now. Yeah, without a doubt. Like, if he doesn't go Fox right now, he's going to lose. It's just, that's the way it's going to be. Fuzz is Fuzz is giving him some serious issues right now. Yeah. I, I've never seen Fuzz demolish him like that. That was bad. We're gonna see a bunch of lasers. I bet even going for up throw up air is like kind of scary sometimes because of the disjoin on on uh on back air. Oh yeah. Yeah. Funny story, unrelated to the match. The first time I ever met Mojo, I ever played him in tournament, this song was playing in the background of PS2, and I beat him at least once. But then, then he wrecked me. <laughs> All right, so this big stage of Fox is actually going pretty well, going in Mojo's favor. Oh, wow. Oh, Fuzz with the down smash. Doubling down I'm on that. I'm surprised there's smash. no shine there. Definitely expected to hear the bleep bleep. Hey. Looks like Mojo's got him just trapped on a platform right now. Had him rolling in towards the ledge twice there. Mojo with a Nair Shine approach. Really, really clean stuff. Mojo's gonna show him some quick kills here with these shines. Yeah, Mojo able to get the shine spikes. Ooh, this could oh, be bad right here. Oh, wow. Fuzz? Opting not to try to edge guard that anymore. Just kind of letting them get back. Oh, smart recovery by Mojo. Oh, he did that drill grab. Yeah, that was really good. Drill grab, very underrated. Like if you but can, not true. It's not a true combo, but it's very underrated. Yep. That and like drill jab. Yeah. Drill I think drill I think drill jab is confirmed. I think that that's a uh, combo. Good up air from Mojo to clear out that stock, putting Fuzz at his last stock. Fuzz has been playing really good, but I, I'm sure he wants to close this out. So if he can make this three stock comeback here, now's the time to do it. Ooh, definitely not undoable from Fuzz. Fuzz can definitely bring this back still, but it's gonna be really, really hard. This isn't just some Randy Fox. This is, this is Mojo, you know. Oh, wow. Okay, we'll get the edge guard. Way, way to stay out there and just really, really go for that up air. Mojo trying to get these up airs. A 6-6%, six, six it's not going to kill, but it certainly puts him in a really threatening position. Oh, but that up throw. Can Fuzz convert? Oh, this is dangerous. This is dangerous right here. Oh, oh. went for the charge up smash. Yeah. A little bit of the disrespect. Oh, and oh, the, it misses the tech. Wow. And you know yeah. what? There, Fuzz, Fuzz is close to this. bringing this back. He's in this. He can He can take this right now. He oh, no, so he's determined. getting all this free dammy. Oh. Good sweet spot. Oh, and the and up smash is going to wipe that so one out. So we're going to game five. Fuzz really, really wanting that 3-1 and just couldn't quite pull it through. Mojo taking it all the way to game five here. In all honesty, he probably should have went Fox a while ago. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, it's still uh, it's still doable, you know. I think that, I think that uh, Fuzz can still win this. It's not just over because Mojo went Fox, you know. Really close to making that comeback. Really close to making that comeback. Which way are you going when you leave from here? Like, are you passing by my side at all? I go to the beltway. Or I go to from 290 to the beltway. Yeah, I was going to see if you could give me a lift home, but it's all good. Because you look tired too anyway. I wouldn't want to make you drive out of the way. Oh, yeah, that's right, yeah. So now we're going green. going green hill zone. Game five. 
Ooh. Oh, oh my god, that's so good, dude. Good, good up here. I mean, a good up throw. Oh my god. I'm so tired. This is so bad. Get me off commentary, SciTech Gaming. Get me out of here. Oh, uh, good in air. Not really able to convert anything off of it. Up throw up air. Oh, good smash. You gotta get out of that. Ooh, that was really good. Good back air from Fuzz. Gonna definitely close that one out. Just staying Ooh. out there in the in the blast zone. Fuzz up two stocks against uh, Uncle Mojo right now. Ooh, neutral air to S smash. Really, really good stuff. Ooh, and Fuzz is, Fuzz is up. He, he looks hungry for this W yeah, right he really now. Wants this. He really does. Alright, so Fuzz really, I feel like he's throwing out a lot of stuff right now. Yeah, I, maybe a little bit too much. Yeah. But it is really oh, solid pressure. Guard. No, it doesn't dip down low enough. Good recovery by Mojo. He's just trying to get back on center stage. There Stop he is himself. right there. Yeah, you can't do that that far out. Yep, nope. So Mojo just applying, oh man. Now Mojo's trying to press some buttons. Oh yeah, they're just both pressing buttons at each other so good right now. So many button presses. Oh my god, that oh, was Mojo really, with a really great good. conversion, yeah. That was awesome. Oh, I got the up smash right after that neutral air. It was after a dash attack. Yeah, oh Before yeah. that was the neutral air, yeah. And Fuzz trying to take this one out into the drop yep. zone. Oh my god, and he got it. Mojo just waited a little bit too long to go box, you know, and that's that's what. Uh, go for it, man. All right. Oh. Okay, so, hopping right in the match. We got Hectaz as the Marth, Armand as Falcon. This is, I believe, loser semis. Yes. All right, so these are two players that are fast. Hectaz, in particular, really likes to press buttons, but you know, that boy stays safe. <laughs> yeah, he's, he needs to be very careful about how he pushes buttons. Because um, there's not a, it's not a free, like it's not like a free punish out of shield for um, Falcon on like fair. It's not like the Marthado where you just get fair out of shield on someone who fares your shield. Yeah. Which is really dumb. 
but it's it's definitely it's definitely pressure. Maybe Nair, depending if he misspaces it. Oh, I oh I know for a fact that dash attack was an accident, but it looks cool. Okay. And S2J is taking over Armand's body. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, that was a hand warmer, right? Yeah. Okay, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> thank God. Okay, so we got Battlefield. Yeah, this is Simmies. Okay. Oh, Daxon will bounce smash. Goes for the crouch, or the crouch to stop the run. Um, down tilt. Very good approach option. Down smash, not so much. Oh, ASDI's the up air into the platform to tech it so he doesn't get juggled. Oh, nice. Oh, okay, reads it. Oh, is that? Uh, oh, no. I'm surprised. I'd imagine uh, he'd go for another up air. Ooh. Oh, man. Catches him. I'm Going for efficiency. Lead. No more... <laughs> Not uh, doing too many up airs. That somehow made him dodge both grabs. <laughs> but right here, see, I I noticed something when Hectaz had grabbed Falcon on like at like 20% near the ledge, he up threw. And I think that he would have been better off kind of just um, what do you call it, just throwing off ledge. Yeah, like almost like Sheik or Marth Spacey's, where it's just oh they have bad recovery, so I'm going to make them recover. <laughs> Good sweet spot by Hectaz right there. Very easily. I know that uh, Armand was looking for that knee. Yeah, that knee is right now. Oh, Ooh, good falling up air. Able to convert okay. Ooh, into a neutral yeah. air. See, I don't. He was trying for down tilt there. Okay, he wiggles out. Okay. Doesn't get killed for it. Has a jump. Takes him out. Ooh, Ooh with down that tilt knee. gets jumped over. And right now, this is Martin Drum at its finest. Okay, this, with the following edge guard, this should be it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Okay. All right. Hectaz is a down, uh, stock down. But it's Falcon. He can die any moment. See, another um, up throw. Yeah, it looks now, like he's I'm going not... for that percent combo rather than just going for a quick edge guard. Right. It's like, not that up throw is, a, is the worst option, but it's like, you put him in a bad position. That's that's a fact. But it's, you could put him in such a seemingly worse position. In a ooh, that was a really good sweet spot by Armand. Yeah, Hectaz probably could have dared it, but he was a little off. It's like he's going for the safe option. Of, oh, just get percent. Yeah. Don't go for this like hit or miss. Do I kill him or not? But as Marth, if you do that, Marth is not a character that benefits from having the opponent at high percent. Yeah. There's something like Falcon. Ooh. That was 60. That wasn't even high percent. Yeah, it wasn't. That was mid percent. Like there's some characters where that might be a viable option, but with Marth Syndrome, that is most definitely not. Okay, he gets the back there this time. And he should just hold ledge. Okay. Yep. All right. That that's kind of Falcon's recovery. <laughs> I think Hectaz really needs to rethink his decision making process, either now or in between this and game two. Yeah. Okay. There we go. There, there we go. All right. See, that's what you kind of want to do. It's even though that didn't work, he's not necessarily any worse for wear than having tried if he had tried the up throw. Because it's like you either kill him and even up the game, or you kind of ooh, really good um from Hectaz to kind of. Threaten the um, sweet spot while still being able to land on stage. Okay. Really, I like that option of Nair. He was a little off on his spacing, but it was a really, really effective way to um, threaten the platform tech chase. Ooh, Ooh really wonderful tipper. All right, and at 60%, he's back in this. Well, this is dangerous, though. Oh, oh, this is dangerous for both of them. Oh, why? Don't go for down air. Just go for back air 10 times. It's less cool, I know, but just do it. Okay, this is the read. No, that's the third time this game he's gotten that down smash. And Armand SDs by accident. Yeah, oh, man, that happened last time he was playing on stream too. Yeah, heck, guys, kind of just got saved by the bell there. Yeah. And PS2, pretty common Falcon counter pick. There's yeah. A lot of room to run around. Dude, he has a lot of the platforms are really good to him. Oh, oh no. man. Heck, guys, with the accidental SD, you know. Because you, you could see that that was the like that was the right like down tilt wasn't bad there. And he actually started the crouch, and then he just slid off edge a little bit. I hate it when that happens. He does have... I don't want to say he has a game to play with, but... Oh, also. This counter pick has given him pretty free reign for up airs. Oh, yeah. Which should help in... Oh! Getting percent for a forward smash kill. Hectaz is back in this now. I've heard uh, people describe Pokemon Stadium as kind of like... It's... Found found destination in the middle. Yoshi platforms on the sides. Right, that like tri platform without the high one. Yeah. So you can't like you can't like escape from the platforms to like mix up how you get down. You just have to like get down. It's really scary. 
I'd almost rather be on Yoshi like tri or triangular to like top platform than on these platforms. Yeah. Because you can't go anywhere. You're just there, like you jump and you try to come down. All right, hit him with that raptor boost. Not really able to get anything off of it. Good up airs. Oh, oh, down air uh, misses his hop. Okay. And like in the middle of the stage, I, I can see why up throw would be like your first choice. Because it puts him in a lot worse position than kind of being on the ground. Yeah. Now the ground is a good position. He messes up his double jump there. That was an easy knee. Oh, oh that was... That's a knee. Yeah, that was a real bad dash attack. Left him wide open. Armand just able to get him and punish that. Okay, something interesting to note is that whenever these Raptor boosts are hitting, you can crowd cancel them. At least mm. at low percent. So he's not, he's not thinking about it. Oh, and is this it? Yep. Yep. So Ooh. Armand firing back saying, it wasn't just the SD at the end that was the mistake. You winning and it all was the mistake. <laughs> oh, Hector has sheep coming up? Ah, I didn't even know Hector has had a sheep. Neither did I. This is going to be interesting. Oh, media needle in the power, in the perfect shield. So what he needs to do with Sheik here is, going, is establish a grab game and establish a a zone where he can, where Falcon can't approach. Oh, not sure what that pivot or that force match is supposed to be. Because usually, oh, no, why did why did he jump there? Just falling there. Nah, that's it. Yep. Oh man, easy conversion right there. Right, like the the thing Falcon is Falcon and Spaces or this interesting kind of, like it's really hard to win neutral or kill as early as them, but, or it's really hard to kill as early as them without edge guards. Like that's the, ooh, I really like that forward smash actually. He wasn't in range for the fair, yeah. so he uses forward smash and has so little knockback, it puts him in range for the fair. But for edge, for Falcon and Spaces, you're not gonna, at least, um, you're, just, you're not gonna like outright kill as early as them. So you need to take advantage of the poor recovery and fast fall speed and make sure you combo them as hard as possible to either kill them. Oh or, man, that was smart by Ramon. Oh no. Yep. Yeah. Ramon looking like he's about to possibly take this. Ooh, really good dash dance to, get, uh, to avoid the um, grab there or dash attack. We have, we have a few good Falcons around here, actually. Yeah. I, got, I always think it's like, oh, it's just Mojo. Well, then Straw Hat came out last week. And our, I always, like, underestimate our mind. Well, he looks it's, like he's fairly comfortable in this matchup. Yeah. I'm, I, just, I think he plays mostly melee. Mm -hmm. Same. Oh, and again. Oh, great forward air. Hector is And I believe, really I think good, Benny Liquid plays Mar. I mean, plays uh, Sheik. I, I think Benny Liquid plays Sheik. Oh, yeah. reverse knee. So that would get him his Sheik practice. Oh, I think he read that movement, but he was just a little early with the forward air. Oh, okay. we action. No, we take that 26% here in here in PM apparently. Oh, no jump. That's it. Yeah. I was about to say because Sheik is known for a tech chasing game, so I thought that maybe Hectas was going to get a lot of percent getting. Oh yeah. yeah. He just kind of opts for rapid jabs, a flub most likely. Yeah. So it's just disappointing. Well, that's surprising because his Marth is so reactive. Yeah, his Marth is almost explosive, I'd say. Yeah. Oh,